it's sunny out good afternoon everybody welcome back to the barrier brigade today we're doing a little cost breakdown of what it took to build the uh old k5 blazer back here behind me for up to date now ooh, it's looking dusty ignore the mess in the garage everything's kind of tucked in here for the winter time just to keep it out of the snow but um i'm gonna try to find some clips to get into talking about details of this truck because right now i don't have a battery in it's all in the uh it's on a trickle charger in the garage so uh, I'm gonna try to find some other video clips of what's going on, but when I first bought the truck, we noticed it was leaking out of the transfer case, some of the gaskets and seals on there. So we got a rebuild kit for that. It was just $25 for all the new gaskets and the seals. Um, and that wasn't bad. I mean, other than time and labor that you think of, all this stuff is stuff that I've done myself. None of this has been done at a shop. Um, we had interior repairs. We had some scrap metal that we had sitting around the garage. We had floors and the holes in the floorboard that we had to cut out and weld in and do a little grinding on, so that wasn't bad. Um, after we finished gutting the interior and fixing all the floor panels, we had the bed liner. We did a truck bed liner on the inside. It was about $75 for a gallon of that, and I did the whole floor of the interior with that. Um, in the back, on the sides of the beds, we did a sheet, a four by eight sheet of diamond plate aluminum. I don't remember what gauge the metal was, but it was about $120 for that sheet. And I used uh, just a grinder and some tin snip like electric shears to cut that out. The seats we had reupholstered by a, one of my good friends. His dad does some reupholstering stuff. He covered it with the same type of vinyl that they use for jet skis and boat seats. Um, and he only charged me about $400 to cover those. Uh, let's see here. The rear end, I did a whole new ring and pinion went out on an off-road trip. So we did a ring and pinion rebuild, uh, or the rear end rebuild kit, I guess, was $300 with a new seal for the yoke and all that stuff. Um, and that's something I got on Jegs. Uh, we did, I painted the truck myself. Doesn't look good right now, ignore that. Um, I don't remember how much paint it used, but it was about $250 for all of the orange paint and all the clear coat for it. Um, the soft topper cover on the back, absolutely love it. Totally worth it. I think it was about $850, maybe $900 with tinted windows in it on all three sides. Um, but like I said, I love that thing. It is totally worth the money if you drive around in the summertime. We had to rebuild the power steering. The power steering went out on the truck, so we needed a new power steering gearbox and pump and all the stuff that went with that. That was about $350. I got most of that stuff at Advanced Auto Parts. The LED light bar that you see on the top and the two little lights on each side came with a relay, a switch, and all the wires needed to hook it up. That was roughly $135 on Amazon, and it was a cheap one, but it works wonderful. The roof rack that's on top, I built out of scrap metal that my dad had in the garage, um, so I don't even have a price for that. The four inch Rough Country lift was roughly $500 from Rough Country. It's a suspension kit with uh, four inch blocks in the rear. I bought, when I did that lift, I was in college, so, you know, doing everything kind of on the cheap. Uh, I had bought some used tires on Craigslist. They were 35-inch tires on rims already. The tires had good tread, but they were older, so they were kind of, one of them was pretty dry rotted. The rest weren't terrible, but I had recently just bought new tires earlier in 2021, and that ranged about $1,300, and I think they're the BF Goodrich All-Terrain KM3s, and they look awesome. Let's see, you can actually see one of those. Uh, they're dirty right now. I'll find a better picture of them. Jeez, I got a messy garage. Maybe I shouldn't show this part of it. Uh, the tires, they are great though. I love those tires. Sorry, I got a piece of a little cheat sheet here that I wrote out with me. Um, this year, we also did long tube headers. They were about $160, and when we were installing those, I got those from Jegs. When we were installing the long tube headers, uh, came across the issue of hitting the oil filter kit or the oil filter. So we had to get an oil filter relocation kit, which I got on Summit Racing for about $45. Now, all the stuff that I've done to this truck has been done over the past 10 years. And really, it's most of it's been there's an icicles falling on me. Most of it was really done about 10 years ago until this past year and a half. I kind of started getting back into the truck again. Um, and I had a blast doing that. And I plan on keep working on it. You know, those old projects they never really finish. You always find something new to do to it. Um, but over the past 10 years, with all the stuff that I've really done to it, the total comes out to about $4,835, which isn't bad over a 10 year period. I don't think that's terrible. There's a lot that I still want to do to the truck. 
um, some stuff that just needs done and some stuff that I want to do. Uh, there's oils leaking out of the rear main seal, but I want to rebuild the whole motor anyway, so we'll probably pull the motor in a year or two. I don't know if we're going to replace it or just rebuild this one and put it back in. It's not like it's a high-performance off-road truck. It's just kind of a fun Sunday drive or occasional light off-roading. Um, so I've looked at maybe just doing a fun little turbo kit just for kind of kicks and giggles. And uh, I don't know. There's a lot of other stuff. we got to get the exhaust done on there. So we'll see what else comes, but this is so far what I've put into this truck to make it look the way it does now, and I am so happy with it. There's some things I didn't include in this, like just regular maintenance stuff. I didn't include oil changes or batteries or alternators. Um, I replaced a starter in this, but it didn't really need replaced, so I didn't include that in there, but a starter is roughly maybe between $150 and $250, depending on what you're driving or where you get it from. But uh, so far, that is all that I've really put into this truck, and I'm happy with it, and I can't wait to put more into it and build more projects with it. Um, so, feel your heart race. Like, subscribe, follow along for more. Oh, it's cold out here. I'm going back inside.